Hi there. My name is Jeremy Rosbeck. I'm the Chief Technical Evangelist at Broadcom for our Network Monitoring Solutions. So in the last video, we talked about the evolution of networking and the challenges and complexity it creates for today's network operations teams. Everything from cloud adoption, SD-WAN deployments, SaaS applications, hybrid workers, they're using unmanaged networks today to gain access to these new network architectures and the new applications that do not reside in data centers anymore. So how do we gain back the visibility we lost? Understanding network delivery of the user experience in this new evolution of networking? How do we gain back control to understand and implement good network delivery processes and workflows to deliver a user experience that's, that's reliable? So we're gonna talk about that today. What I've drawn out for you here is a typical visualization of a network path, end-to-end -end network path, user experience transaction. You know, it starts with the user. Maybe they're at home on their Wi-Fi network and they're trying to access an application in a SaaS environment. Let's say it's Office 365. In today's new networking landscape, you know, this user is not in an office. They're not talking through a data center that is owned by that company and then with direct dedicated internet connections to the SaaS application out in a cloud provider. That's not how it works today. Most of this is an unmanaged network path, right? They're gonna go from their home uh, Wi-Fi environment out through their residential ISP network into more ISP backhaul networks, into the cl cloud or SaaS provider, and then finally hit the application they started this transaction with. I'll give you a clear example of how to frame this in a real life scenario. So my kid, she's 22, and uh, like most young drivers, she gets into a fender mender every now and again. Well, I've had to replace three bumpers on her car already, and I'm sure the fourth one's gonna come. But the problem is, is that if my kid calls me on the side of the road and says, I need to get in touch with our insurance company, this is what happened, she's gonna have to make that call. But when she calls the insurance company, those customer care agents are probably working from home now. They're not in a building connected to a data center. And they're accessing the claims application probably in a SaaS environment, which means the network transmission of this you know, claims user experience is, looks completely different than it looked years ago. Through unmanaged networks like home Wi-Fi, residential IP, cloud, SaaS, et cetera. So that customer care agent cannot tell my daughter that she's unable to help her at the moment because she seems to be having ISP issues and she can't access the claims app in this SaaS environment. That can't happen. You know why? Because every single IT department out there today is responsible for all of the infrastructure that resides along this user experience network path whether they own it or not. That's just where we are today in this new evolution of networking. User experiences may traverse network infrastructure you don't own, but you are still responsible for delivering a reliable user experience. Let me show you how you can be successful at that. It's about the data you collect along this entire network path. What you do with that data and how you present that data for actionable insights to network operations teams today. What are we going to collect at this network hub? Well, from the user perspective, we can collect Wi-Fi health and we can collect user metrics like laptop processes, CPU, memory, etc. This way we can isolate and understand if any of the performance degradation along this entire network path is happening local to the user. Then like most network operations teams know, you have to collect network performance data. Network performance data can look like uh, CPU memory utilization on network devices. It can look like uh, packet loss and latency and jitter. Uh, it can look like bandwidth consumption, right? It's taking this information and then using this information to predict future optimization scenarios, like we're gonna need more bandwidth in this site or this branch office. Not only that, with SD-WAN, like we talked about in the last video, being able to understand and validate the entire SD-WAN network delivery end-to-end, -end, 
We talked about SD-WAN only being edge-to-edge -edge monitoring from the SD-WAN vendors to today. But SD-WAN compromises a bigger network path like this, and which is why we need that end-to-end -end visibility and validation of how the SD-WAN technology is performing. Then we move on to collecting network fault data, being able to isolate what device or devices is having performance degradation, what the relationship is to their neighboring devices. What are the configurations on those devices look like and have they changed any time recently? Are there anything in the logs that are giving us any type of investigative uh, research into the performance degradation along this network path? Network fault information is always very important to continue building out that visibility and gaining back this control. Now we're getting into the good stuff, those unmanaged network like ISP networks, right? They have BGP routing protocols where they can change the network path of your user experience on a dime. And they do this in order to always find the most relevant and quickest network path for this user experience. But what are those changes doing to your users and how is it affecting their productivity if for some reason there's a route change and it's the wrong route change, right? What about their network infrastructure inside of these uh, ISP networks? Are they having any performance degradation? Again, improving our visibility and control. What about the cloud providers, right? What about the SaaS environments? We're using mostly applications in SaaS environments today, not installed locally on our, on our systems. We have to use networks to get to those cloud apps and those SaaS environments. And that network path, again, can traverse over unmanaged networks like ISPs. So what is the performance of the network infrastructure look like in these cloud environments? Network operations teams rely on network flow data. This is the ability to understand what applications are actually consuming the network bandwidth along this entire network path. So maybe, you know, for our example with the insurance company, she's using an application for a claims app in the uh, SaaS environment. But it could be Netflix, right? It could be YouTube. So what is the culprit application look like? How is it behaving along this entire network path? This is the flow data that's very important to collect. And then finally, the icing on the cake is user experience data. So it's not enough just to understand the performance of all the infrastructure at this at every single hop in this network path. What's important is, is what is its impact on the user experience? As we deliver this claims application along this entire network path for our insurance story here, uh, what is the performance impact on productivity for the user experience inside this entire network path? We can also do this with active monitoring of this network path. What does that mean? Understanding the performance all the time, in real time, of all the network infrastructure that makes up this network path. If we find that this router inside of this Verizon network seems to be having packet loss greater than 10%, we wanna isolate that and observe it more and really determine that this is our culprit device so we can take that information to the appropriate party. What about synthetic monitoring? That's always important as well because we need to not only un un understand what's the behavior of all the network devices that make up this network path, but how is the actual application behaving along this entire network path, right? Getting inside of an application and doing a typical transaction like doing some shopping, adding something to a cart, going to your cart, adding the billing information, adding your credit card and checking out. Along any of those transactions and milestones, there may be interruption. There may be a backend SQL database error. So we need to understand not only the performance of all the infrastructure along this network path, but what's the performance of the application? What's the behavior of the application being delivered along this entire network path? So again, I mentioned there's a lot of data here to collect along this typical network path. It's what you do with that data that's important, right? 
to be able to gain visibility into home Wi-Fi networks, to be able to understand the performance of all the infrastructure, to able, be able to isolate any network faults, to be able to gain visibility into what was the black hole of unmanaged networks like ISP and cloud providers understanding the flow data that goes along this entire network path and applying all this information, this performance and fault information to its impact on the user experience. So let's revisit that real life scenario with my kid. If she does have to call our insurance company and put through a claim, even though our customer care agent may be working from home, the insurance company's IT department now has full visibility, hop by hop control and granular diagnosis of what the entire network path looks like, delivering that claims user experience. So when my kid calls and the customer service agent lets her know, I'm sorry, but I seem to be having internet issues and I can't seem to get to the claims app in a SaaS environment. What this comprehensive and unified visibility and control does is that the IT part department will be able to isolate the performance degradation along this entire network path at this hop inside of the ISP network, take that information to the ISP network and present it to them so they can fix it. And what we've accomplished here is what we call mean time to innocence. The ability to have all the data necessary in front of you to make actionable, intelligent decisions. You know every single hop along this entire network path is performing according to our thresholds and ranges that we've set, except for this one. So we've been able to isolate an unmanaged network device inside of a network we have little to no control over, take this data back to them, and the issue will get fixed. So this is what we're talking about when it comes to comprehensive visibility and control, being able to see inside every single network hop along this entire user experience. And this is what we're bringing to our customers today inside of what is a very complex networking world. So stay tuned for our next video as we talk about SD-WAN deployments, the challenges they create, and how to find success in those network transformation initiatives.